Welcome to What's Hot in Hollywood on Velvet Red. I'm Ellen Kay, and this is the show keeping you up to date on all things hot, like the movies, 21 Jump Street, and Jeff, who lives at home. Whether it's a Velvet Red Carpet world premiere or the latest fashion trends, we've got you covered. Our motto, we deliver your favorite stars and all their favorite stuff. Every week, you'll find amazing new deals online at velvetredtv.com. So please keep checking back. Let's fire up lights, camera, and action by heading to the world premiere of the new dramedy, Jeff Who Lives at Home, starring Jason Siegel. Leo Quinones is on the velvet red carpet. Hey, Leo. Thank you so much, Ellen Kay. Here we are in the heart of Hollywood on the Sunset Strip for the velvet red carpet world premiere of Jeff Who Lives at Home. Jason Siegel, Susan Sarandon, the stars. It's all about a guy who looks for cosmic signs in the universe. Check it out. Pat, who's that guy your wife's with? Why don't you just go in there and, t and talk to her? Oh my God, you have no idea how adult relationships work, do you? I need to find out exactly what's going on so I'll have the upper hand later. Something really big is happening here. My wife is having an affair. We don't know that yet. Let's just, let's follow this and see where it leads. I'm gonna break down the door. That's a terrible idea. I've seen you try to do things physically. Oh! I hate my kids right now. I don't know when that happened. They were so cute. I've been having this really weird dream about Dad lately. He says, Pat, what's the greatest day in the history of the world? And I'm like, Dad, I don't know. And he just looks at me and he, he smiles. Says today, and he's, he says today. How'd you do that? <laughs> Jason, this is the interview that's going to put you over a million Twitter followers. 944,000 followers. Is you, that where I'm at now? And you tweeted, call someone, say something nice. It's weird, but it's rad. Where do you get the, the niceness gene from? It's so amazing. Uh, I really have realized that we're living in la-la land and uh, this stuff doesn't matter so much. All that's going to matter is that you were nice at the end of the day. And so uh, I got like a million people listening to things I say. Might as well go for it. It's a, it's a lot of power. Well, talking about being directed by two guys instead of one, what is that like? I call it a Friday night. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it was... <laughs> yeah, watch, that's in the Hollywood Reporter tomorrow. It's so great. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I, people don't understand irony anymore. I'm just joking. It's oh. Saturday night. Um, it was it was exciting. It was these guys share a brain um, to some extent. I've never seen two brothers get along better and have conflicts resolved instantly on the spot. And you just really felt in safe hands the whole time. What's it like having Jay and Mark to class two directors instead of one? What's that dynamic like? Well, I've worked with brothers, you know, with siblings before with the Wachowskis. But I think every director is different, just like every single director is different. But. Um, they really enjoy each other and help each other out. I think it makes for a very pleasant set. And what can you say about this movie who are on the fence about going to see Jeff, who lives at home? I'd say it is a, a little gem of a movie that unfolds in a very unpredictable way uh, with lots of laughs and maybe some moments that are moving that you don't expect. But there are a lot of twists and turns in this one day that takes place. And, and the dynamic between yourself, Ed, and Jason. Um, I think it's a great dynamic, and I had a great time with them. We were in a total love bubble. You know, it's just good to see that nice guys finish first. Jason Siegel, Jeff Lives at Home. It's rated R, but it's a very fun movie. Ellen, right back to you. Thanks, Leo. You can count on Jason Siegel amassing one million Twitter followers very soon. I'm glad Velvet Red could help you out, Jason. Jeff Who Lives at Home gets a wider release in the coming weeks, but of course, Velvet Red gets cool movies on your radar first. And now, it's fashion time. Winter's behind us and spring is in the air. To find out the latest trends, let's check in with Kinga Phillips. Hi, Kinga. Thanks, Ellen. Kinga Phillips here to tell you about Hollywood's hottest products. Here is a universal fact about women. We all wanna look good, feel good, and smell good. Of course, a good shower and some deodorant will get you so far, but when you really wanna make an olfactory statement, you reach for your favorite bottle of perfume. The perfume industry has been around since the Egyptians, who incidentally were the original fashionistas. And these days, you can't seem to throw an eight carat diamond without hitting a celebrity who has their own scent. Katy Perry, Rihanna, Jessica Simpson, Kim Kardashian, even the late great Elizabeth Taylor are among many other A-listers with their own signature fragrance. But no matter who is wearing it or selling it, the idea with perfume is to find a complimentary scent that represents you. 
takes you to your happy place, or makes you feel fierce and sexy, preferably all the above. Now with so many fragrances out there, how does a girl choose without smelling like a department store tester went haywire? Let me give you a place to start. Sarah Horowitz, Perfumer to the Stars. Now, Sarah creates custom blends for her celebrity clientele and the rest of us as well, all while racking up accolades by the press. But even if you're merely in the mood for a ready-made scent, she has several lines and none of them disappoint. Her Perfect line is my personal favorite, featuring my current scent, Perfect Nectar, and the other favorite, Perfect Vanilla. So ladies, I'm leaving it up to you to look good and feel good, but if you want to smell good with some of Sarah Horwood's signature scents, visit our site, velvetredtv.com. And now back to you, Ellen. Thanks for that, Kinga. Now are you ready for laughs? Good. Velvet Red takes to the set of the new action comedy 21 Jump Street. Back in the late 80s, there was a TV series about youthful looking cops who went undercover posing as high school students. Their intent? Arresting drug dealers. This was the very same TV show that catapulted Johnny Depp into superstardom. Flash forward to 2012 and 21 Jump Street gets a reboot. Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill get the assignment to go back to high school and root out the bad guys. Here's Jonah Hill, kind of throwing Channing Tatum under the bus, about looking a little too old to pass as a high school student. Watch. I look so much younger than Channing, it's crazy. Everyone just talks about it all day. Um, no, but uh, we try and look young and act young and, and we buy these new clothes and kind of try and figure out and kind of reminisce to our own high school um, experiences and try and just think back. But it dawns on us that we're lucky because because we have like the almanac, like in Back to the Future 2, we have all the answers. We're going back knowing, you know, everyone says, if I only knew then what I know now. There's no way you could be cast, right? We go to prom with me. And we kind of have that information. And then we get back and realize that all the information and answers are no longer valid anymore. <laughs> are no longer valid. When did I get stabbed? That's awesome! Yeah! Why do you always jump across the car like that? Because it looks cool. You try. Uh, you okay? I think I crapped my pants. The reviews for 21 Jump Street are great, and Jonah Hill is already writing a sequel. It's also really cool that Johnny Depp didn't forget his roots and made a cameo appearance. Let's turn the focus from the stars to you. Every week, Velvet Red is giving away great prizes, and Leo is on the street talking with the fans. Hey, Leo. Thank you so much, Ellen Kay. The heart of Hollywood, California, right smack dab in the middle of Hollywood and Highland Boulevard. Well, 21 Jump Street is in theaters now. It's a TV show that's now a movie. But what about TV actors who become great movie stars? I'm gonna ask around, here we go. Johnny Depp was in 21 Jump Street. Now he's a big star. So we're asking people here in Hollywood to identify some stars early in their career. Are you ready? Yeah. Stephanie, Maggie, you ready to do this? Yes. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio. Good. All right. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 Ryan Gosling. Yes. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Grease Lightning. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Will Smith. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't know who that is. Robin oh, wait, Robin Williams. Yeah. I noticed an accent. Where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Are you visiting Hollywood? I sure am. Seeing the sights? Love it all. Oh, jo um, my favorite actor, uh, John Travolta. No, uh, blah, blah, blah. John Travolta. Good. Bruce Willis. Okay. Willis. Du -du -du -du. Uh, Robin Williams. Okay. And John Clooney. Yes. Ah, oh, um. Oh, Fox. Right, right, right. Fox. Fo Fox. Jamie. Jamie Fox. No. No, no, another Fox. Fox. And his name is Willis. Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Will Smith. <laughs> Sorry, where are you guys from? Arizona. Oh, cool. How's the California Pizza Kitchen treating you? Yummy. Okay. Um, what's oh, his name? Oh, I know him. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, um, um, I don't know him. I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Crusty the crab. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no. no. Take a guess. Um, Bill Clinton. <laughs> what? What TV show was he on? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's Titanic. What's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Thank you. All right, it's crazy here in Hollywood. Thank you, ladies, so very much for being on Velvet Red TV. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, Ryan Gosling. Oh, my God. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, uh, Bruce Ryan Willis. Willis. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Will Smith, my man. <laughs> let's go, my man. Oh, Robert oh, Williams. Morgan. Morgan. Oh, yes, yes, let's go. George Clooney. Uh, George Clooney, we were just talking about him. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Michael something. J Fox. Michael J Fox. Whoa, these girls Yay. are amazing. Albuquerque, New Mexico. 505, baby. Yeah. my city. The 505 has been represented. I love it. Stumping people about movies. Well, what about you watching? I want to take care of you and send you to a rockin' show. I'm talking about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Anthony Kiedis and the boys are ripping it up this summer, and I want to send you. But you have to register right now at velvetredtv.com. Good luck. Ellen, right back to you. Leo, thank you. If you'd like to win, the first thing you have to do is register at velvetredtv.com. Now, as we all know, Will Ferrell is funny. And now he's taking his humor international in Casa de mi Padre, or My Father's House. It's a comedy about the Alvarez brothers and their war with the Mexican drug cartel. And the entire movie is in Spanish. Will Ferrell explains. I was able to fall back on my extensive Spanish knowledge gained with three years of high school Spanish and one semester of college Spanish. So between that, I had it all up here. But it wasn't too bad, right? The director's nodding his head at me, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't 20 takes. Que nuestro padre en petit. Como? Again? Estos no son los Estados Unidos que, que nuestro padre estaba. I'm sorry. Estos no son, estos no son los Estados Unidos que padre, que nuestro padre es. No, let's just cut it. <laughs> you gotta love Will Ferrell in any language. Casa de mi padre is in theaters now. If you'd like to be on top of all things Velvet Red, follow us on Twitter, at Velvet Red TV. You'll be able to check out celebrity interviews, win prizes, and of course, find out first about unbelievable Velvet Red deals. Make sure to send us a tweet and like us on Facebook. Hey, thanks for getting the word out by texting all your friends too. Next week, meet me back here for more Velvet Red. I'm Ellen Kay, and I'll see you soon.